Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to another video. Today I have 12 cards using Doodlebug Dragon Tales. Now this is an older collection. I'm really enjoying looking in my stash during quarantine and seeing what I can use up. I also did recently purchase the two new Doodlebug collections, which are birthday theme. So I wanted to go ahead and use these before those arrived. So I'm just showing you the 6x6 paper pad. I also have the odds and ends that I'll be using today. These are quite a bit larger for cards. I kind of prefer using the icon stickers now, but if you want really easy images that take up a lot of space, on your cards. The odds and ends are perfect. So we're jumping right in to card number one. For the first few cards, I am going to use sketches. Now for this one, I did increase the size of the rectangle layers here, and I did bring in some coordinating cardstock as well. This is one of my favorite sketches. It's a great way to use the pattern paper, and I love how it frames the images. So I'm going to be using this little castle here, and then I'm going to have one of the dragons in front of the castle. The dragons in this collection are so great, and they make for really sweet little boy cards as well. And this collection is still available at scrapbook.com, so I will link to what's available there down in the description box below, as well as everything else that I'm using today. So I am just going to add this little sentiment here that says RAR, and that will complete the first card, just adding a little bit of black glaze pen to the eyes. These are all very clean and simple cards that are easy to create. So for card number two, using a sketch again here, this one is by Queen & Co. You will notice that I've gone ahead and die cut all of my pieces just to make this video go a little bit quicker for you so you can enjoy just seeing how the cards came together. So I am just going to cut the fishtail for this piece of pattern paper and I am going to layer that on top of some light blue cardstock and then I'll just need to trim that bottom flag as well on the cardstock. There's lots of great pattern paper in this collection. There are some busy patterns with some of the characters on it, but then there's also really nice layering papers like the plaid one that I'm using, and then this really easy to use uh, polka dot paper here, like the, um, I almost said black, like the green one that I'm using for my fishtail banner. So just cut out a couple of uh, circles here with some infinity dies and went ahead and layered those together and then I can add my little birthday dragon here. For these cards I did use some fun foam, just some scrap pieces that I had that I wanted to use up so another great way to get some of that stuff that's been sitting in my stash used and onto my cards. For the sentiment I'm using just for you so with the older Doodlebug collections, they had more cut apart sheets, which I really loved. Some with sentiments that you can use, and then the smaller, almost three by four uh, little cut aparts, which made it really easy to make cards. I wish they would go back to putting those into their uh, pattern paper collections. So I'm just going to add some stars here. There are a bunch of stars that come in the odds and ends. I also used my heavy doodle stitch stars for the largest ones. So it's similar to the green one at the top of the screen. So moving on to the next card using another sketch here. So you can see I'm using that busier paper for the background and then this gray pattern paper for that large stripe that goes across the center of the card. I used a scallop die with some light blue cardstock and then added a die cut circle out of the pattern paper on top of that. And then I can go ahead and have my little cake eating monster here on top of my focal circle. So I'm going to add some of the stars 
And then the sentiment that I'm using for this one is happy birthday, just backing that on some cardstock as well. And I am going to tuck this underneath the scalloped uh, circle here. Love how quick and easy all of these cards came together. And now I have a bunch of uh, boy birthday themed cards. I also make a couple thank you cards and I'll show you as well uh, how you can use some of the elements in the pattern paper and the die cuts to make a generic card as well. So there's that card complete. Move on to our next card here featuring this little swimming dinosaur. Kind of reminds me of the Loch Ness Monster. I'm going to go ahead and use a scallop border die here. This one happens to be from Lawn Fawn and I'm just going to layer that underneath the pattern paper. There are a bunch of border cut aparts here and I'm going to use the corresponding one with the little, well, we'll just call it the Loch Ness Monster, but you can call it a dragon as well. So that will tie in the theme of this card nicely. I loved that bold polka dot paper that I used for the back of the card and then this really neutral blue pattern paper is great to kind of give the illusion of water. Again, I pop those up on some scrap fun foam, and then I'm just going to layer my sentiment, which reads, let's party, onto some blue cardstock, and I'll attach that to the top left-hand portion of my water here for this card. So that card is complete. And we can move on to card number five, I believe. I really like this one. So I'm using two of the pattern papers. Just cut those with some stitched rectangle dies. I'm using that busier striped pattern from, for the back. And then I loved this fire pattern paper. So I'm going to have that as the top layer of pattern paper where my little dragon here will sit on top of. For this one, I didn't use any fun foam. I'm just adhering them straight down with some liquid adhesive. This little dragon is so cute, breathing his fire. I did decide to add the little party hat for him. I just thought that added a super cute touch for a birthday card, and it also matched that striped diagonal pattern paper that I used in the back. So for the sentiment for this card, it reads wish big and I just cut a diagonal on one side and then I'm just going to glue that down to the top left hand side of the card. And then we can move on to card number six. So this one is a very simple design. It just cut out a piece of the pattern paper with a stitched rectangle die. I find that sometimes these larger words in the die cut packs are a little bit challenging to use on cards. I think they're kind of meant more for scrapbook layouts, but this one fit perfectly on a horizontal A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm gonna have my little Viking here all dressed up for the birthday party sit on top of the word party. And then I added the sentiment fun, fun, fun over top of that. Again, just adding some black glaze pen to their eyes, I find it gives a really nice finishing detail. So moving on to the next card, we're moving away from a birthday card and I'm using the thank you sentiment for this one. I'm just gonna layer some of the pattern paper that I cut onto some lime green cardstock. I just want to make sure that I get those layers on first before I start putting the card together. This dinosaur pattern paper is super cute. So I'm going to layer that onto the diagonal stripe paper. So there's just a little bit showing and the lime green cardstock just really helps those different layers pop, but it also pushes back the busyness of that diagonal stripe pattern paper. I got a little bit of glue or something on my sentiment, so I was just trying to get that off. Now that I have my layers on, I'm going to add my two little dinosaurs. I thought that they looked like they could be going in for a hug, definitely not practicing social distancing, but that's the beauty of card making. 
So like I said, I'm going to add the thank you sentiment, and then I'm going to use three of the stars that came in the odds and ends die cut pack. So I'm going to have that larger one sitting on the sentiment strip, and then I will have the other two sporadically laid out across the card. And this will just give some visual interest to the card. It's a great way to use the die cuts sort of as embellishments. So I'm going to have that light greeny yellow one by the darker blue and then the lighter blue to the right hand side and that card is complete. So here's an example of a card I made that has nothing to do with dragons. I fell in love with this pattern paper with the clouds and there were a number of clouds here in the die cut pack as well as balloons. So there were some white ones and then there were some clouds with some soft blue patterns on them. So I'm going to add this little cut apart sentiment strip to the bottom and it reads happy birthday and it repeats along the little sentiment strip. I'm going to use another one of those larger word die cuts from the pack. So it says birthday and I'm going to have that sit on top of the sentiment strip there at the bottom just placing my clouds across my scene here and then trimming up any of that excess that's overhanging. So now I can go ahead and add my birthday word here and this would have looked really pretty popped up on some fun foam or foam tape as well, but I do like to make flat cards that are easy to mail. So it might be hard to see in the video, but some of the clouds on the pattern paper have stars on them. So I thought I would replicate that pattern with my die cut clouds here and just add some of the die cut stars that come in the odds and end pack. And then I'm going to add one of the balloons from the die cut. Now this string here for my balloon is actually from the Lawn Fawn stamp set called Really High Five. And I thought that was perfect. There are no balloon strings in the die cut pack. If you don't have a stamp, you can just go ahead and draw it yourself and then cut it out. But this is, I think, a really fun example of using a collection without having to keep to the theme of the dragons. So this card, if you blink, it will be over. I'm just using the little scene pattern paper from the paper pad, and this just makes a really sweet, quick card. I left the sentiment off because I'll just wait and see what I'm going to use it for and then I can add it later. So moving on to card number 10, I'm going to use the little dinosaurs in the eggs here. This rock pattern paper was really pretty, but I found it hard to kind of use it. So I'm just going to use it as a really light piece of pattern paper for my background so that my little dinosaurs here will stand out. And then I'm using this really busy, almost like a quilted pattern paper to the back. I did add a piece of white cardstock to separate the layers here on the back of this pattern paper that will be on the top. And that just gives it a little bit more definition and also breaks up that busy pattern again. The little green stripe is from the cut aparts, so I just added that for added interest. And now I'm just going to place my three little dinosaurs to the middle of the card. I'm just having them sit on that pattern paper there to make them look grounded. And for this card, I'm using the sentiment smile, so this card could be used for anything which I think is great to always have in your stash. So I'm just going to put that to the top left hand side. And then again, there were a number of these star die cuts. So I'm going to use those as embellishments. I'm just going to quickly get those glued in place, just trying to figure out where I want them to be on the card. And I will add some black glaze pen to the eyes here as well. I didn't bring in any added embellishments. I didn't use a glitter pen or anything for these. Very, very simple cards to recreate. So for card number 11, I'm going to use this really sweet pattern paper with the Vikings and the dragons and the little Vikings. 
So I'm just going to add a piece of pattern paper here to the middle of the diagonal stripe and I'm going to add that to my card panel. I did use a cut apart sentiment strip and it just has the word hooray repeated on it. Cut out some die cut circles. I'm using a darker blue here to add a little bit of detail around my circle pattern paper. And you can see I did die cut out a gray star from that pattern paper, but you'll never know because the Viking goes over top of it nicely. I did add a party hat to him as well, and then that card is complete. So for the final card, this one is really easy. I was getting down to the final few die cuts that I had left in the pack, so I'm going to use a couple of the presents. I'm going to use up this blue pattern paper that I had used in another card, and I'm just going to cover up that die cut hole in the center. I had a little bit of this party paper left over with the balloons and the presents, and I'm going to use the sentiment strip that says happy birthday along the bottom of that as well. Just trying to use up the various elements from the collection. So I'm going to layer a piece of the candle pattern paper onto some of that lime green cardstock. And this will go right over the rest of that die cut circle out of my pattern paper that I'm using at the back. And then I can go ahead and add my presence on top of my focal point here, which is the circles. I just adhered that one to the left straight down and then added some fun foam to the one to the right. And there are our, there are all of the 12 cards. So I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to show you all 12 cards from the collection. As always, I'd love to know if you had a favorite. I will hopefully be getting the new Doodlebug collections in soon. So I hope to have both of those for you maybe at the end of the month or early June, just depending on the mail system. Everybody's trying their best and we know it's slow just because of everything that's going on in our world today. So I hope you are all doing really well and I encourage you to take a look at what you have in your stash and what you can use up and have fun creating. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day. Here's a couple more videos to keep you busy until I see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.